sister. Today we have a list of things to do, which is my sister buying gifts for her friends, as well as buying gifts for our parents. But like what? And going to the 12-story Daiso, and then my sister getting a magnet, and then we have to buy another suitcase to fit all this stuff. Hopefully they fit. We are just trying to get things done in Myeongdong, and then my sister is going to Hong Day to eat with her friend, and I... What's going on? We're back at the store. I had like a bunch of random things and also came up things but like fake ones. <laughs> Why? It's funny. I'm not gonna get a Goku go one. No, she was getting I got them last one. time. No, I got that last time. That this time you got look so weird buying those ugly ass socks. Yeah. So cute but so expensive. Future Tina screenshot this and search on AliExpress after. Cause I'm not paying $14 for that. These are one of the accessory shops. How many clockers do you need a light? <laughs> And we're back at the chocolate store. Oh! I see black pink white stick. I've light stick. I see the F17 light stick. Here we have a crop. Oh, my cookie. And again, I got my strawberry latte. We have strawberry latte like three days in a row already. I love strawberry lattes in Korea. Oh, you love We just dropped off a bunch of 17 and Stray kids stuff at the hotel, and now we're going back out to the 12 story Daiso. But that's how close we are to our hotel that we could just leave and come back. And we have arrived literally a one minute walk away. It's huge! Oh, they got self checkout. BTS dogs. How do we get a car? Minioso! That's not the same Minioso. They're only selling this for five dollars. That's so embarrassing. All floors. Let me show you guys what the floors are. Okay, let's go. Beauty fashion accessory. Before, above, stationary. Let's try to find the photo album. Oh, yeah. We skipped the beauty floor, sorry, y'all. There's this photo album, but there's no long one. Oh, that's an agenda. Oh, they're making stickers. Found photo albums. You ugly. That's all they have. I'd rather take the big one. I'll just hold it for now in case there's something else. Does it look like there's two slots? Yep. One side is two and one side is one, I think. I didn't get the same as you. It was you yesterday. It was you. <laughs> it was you I love you. After all this time, I still love you. It'll always been you. So maybe the other one is there. I honestly think I like the plain one best. <laughs> We're at Character Kids and Party. Whoa. The floors are relatively small sizes. Are you sure there's a bunch? Oh, oh. That's what she's doing right now. Beautiful. There's Hello Kitty. Kitty over there. Hello Kitty, three dollar keychain. Meanwhile, everything else is like twelve dollars. Kind of looks like RJ. The rest of them are like house stuff, so we don't need. So they really only had like two, maybe one and a half floors of stationery. I thought they had so many floors of stationery. Yeah. Free her. And I'm only getting it because three dollars. Everything else is like twelve. My sister asked them to open the bags, so we got it. And there was another girl who wanted them to. It's so cute! I love it! Just a slow out. That was fun! We scanned the QR code here. And we have finished at Daiso. Here's the small bay. Where's your bag? Show your bag. Yup! Yeah. Just spent $50 on Nature of Holland that's in Canada. Cause the lady kept offering us, yeah. offering us. I was checking out and she told me you can spend like $10 more dollars to get $3 off of tax free. And I'm like, whoop. And back to the fan favorite, all of y'all. Even though we bought like 500 masks. I think this is seven. $3. Right. Okay, let's go. Big ass thing. I think it's bigger than ours, but she literally offered to put our shopping bags in there. That's dirty. That's from custom. I think that's true. Okay, let's go. We're gonna get tripped at the airport anyways. <laughs> this suitcase was $89. There was another store with $80, but we decided to go here. And it's pink. That's so beautiful. Yeah, the store in Myeongdong Station though, underground, not on the street. If he was trying to sell us a suitcase, I'd be like, what's smaller than this? For $250. I was shocked. Took a break at the hotel. Oh, it is 3.17 and we are at McDonald's. Because we did not eat lunch yet. Anyways, all right, everyone. It is 5 p.m. My sister has cut off. She's going to Hong Day to meet with her friend who works here, and I am in Myeongdong Station just to do some last-minute shopping because you know, as you know, today's our last day. But I'm also thinking of going to Hong Day after, since you know I'm in the station. I might as well just hop on the two trains. As you know, two days ago I bought a mini me dress-up 
Koya, and I kind of want to buy the rest of them, but they're like twenty dollars each and ten dollars for their clothes each, twelve dollars for clothes each. So we'll see how broke I am. I'll decide. But I'm the station. I already bought something, and I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go buy something else that I had in mind. So let's go. And here we are. We've been here last year. And here they are. I wanna get the rest. I have to look at the faces for each. I like this face the best. One, two, three, four, five, six. One minus I don't like this face that much. Cookie faces are too high. I'll just take this one for now. <laughs> okay, on to their clothes. I like the other people's clothes better. Where are they? This time uh, the selection's better here than Canada. Here are the other people's clothes, y'all. Three. Going back upstairs because I didn't like all the clothing options there. So I'm gonna put you guys in my backpack because how can I hold all these bags on the subway? Here we go. Hey y'all. Just sitting in front of Lifeworks. Eating a chicken skewer. It's, it's dripping. Anyways, I got up at a different station this summer so I could walk through Myeongdong District. I saw Latte Plaza. Wait, what? Young. Young Plaza, Plaza Young, I forgot what it's called. As you guys know, I went there last year, and I was gonna go in there to go downstairs where the K-pop store is, but uh, there was no crossing there, so I was like, fuck it. <laughs> I went to the chocolate store again, as you can see, to buy my friend a gift for her birthday. After this, I'm gonna go straight to the hotel, which is literally right down there. Yup, love conveniency. Okay, I'm finished. Let's walk home together, everyone. It's literally two minutes away. Gotta get out here quick. One minute longer here is another minute of being closer to buying a $300 Proof Collections Edition album. Let's actually go down the station <laughs> in case we want to stop by the station K-pop stoppers. Okay. And I did not buy anything and we are gonna see shit once again. <laughs> and we are back in the elevator right in time because my one of my airpods just died. There's one elevator that has a heat on and one that has air conditioning on and I'm in the air conditioning. I love it. I guess it's time to get packing as my sister is out eating. Okay. And in we go everyone. Yeah. Look at this mess, y'all. Don't we just have too many things to pack? And it's mainly my sister, by the way. She bought so many damn clothes. <laughs> okay, everyone. I have finally settled in. And let me give you guys a haul of what we got today now. This, I feel like, is the most <laughs> things we bought in one day in the entire trip. Maybe for all our trips. But holy crap, do we have a lot of things. Now, I'm going to try and show you guys everything we got in chronological order. But first, I wanted to show you guys the one we're probably all excited for. Well, maybe just me, because I want to open this now! I want to open this now! And just so you know, I bought this at the end of the day, if you couldn't tell by the sequence of the vlogs. But it is the Alliance Friends Haul. As you guys know, I bought this Koya in Gangnam two days ago. And today, you know, I was debating, I was like, Oh, I love you, Koya, but you are so lonely. You don't have anyone. You don't have anyone. Me and my sister were like talking about getting him either one friend or all of them. And I'm like, I'm fucking broke. I can't have all of them. And I ended up getting all of them. Because he needs his friends, and mind you, I bought all of them and clothes for all of them. So this, the doll itself, $23, and the clothing is $12, just so you guys know. But let me tell you guys, I think because there was an event going on, and I bought a lot of stuff, and I reached the minimum, I got 20% off all of my, my entire order. I got 20% off my entire order, plus the tax refund, I got $12 off because of the tax refund, so... Uh, didn't I save some money there? <laughs> let's open up his friends. Let's meet his friends. Let's open up his friend. Who do we have here first? We have Tata! And as you guys know, I tried to look for the cutest face out of all the dolls they have because some of them are like too high up on their face. Like their face is too high up on their heads. I don't know why. And this is the Tata I got. It looks just like my Tata at home. Here he is! I think this is his front, he can only face this front because there is a huge butt crack that goes all the way up to his, his face. Here he is, RJ! And I think I picked a really cute RJ because a lot of them, a lot of the faces looked a bit deformed. I think I picked the best one, girl. I was looking through the stack. And here he is, him with his undies. RJ! Yeah, baby RJ! Yeah, 
Jimmy! Here he is! Look, he still got his buttons. So, isn't he already wearing clothes right now? He's gonna put clothes on top of his clothes? I don't know. The Chibi ones are hard to find a good face for because, uh... I don't know. The fur, the first kind of... But, yeah, I still love you. I still love you. Take a seat. Next we have is Cookie! Finding a Cookie one was hard, girl. <laughs> because, look at it! All the cookie ones, his face is too high up, so look at how much chin he has. But the other ones, his face was even higher, so this one's okay. I swear some of them were a little bit tilted. You know what, this this doesn't even look straight as well. But it's fine, we still love him regardless. Cookie, yeah. Whoa, his arms are long, girl. And last but not least, we have Shuki. And his was honestly the cutest because it's literally one head. When I was looking for his... There was like a bunch of it, but the first one right away was so cute. Whoa, he still has undies even though he has no legs. Here he is, Shuki! Why does he have undies if he has no legs? Well, <laughs> so let's put them in their clothes, shall we? Go on in, Jimmy. Go on in, Jimmy. Go on in. There he is! Maybe I should give this to someone else because he is choking in there. Yo, he's choking. He's choking. Here he is. Doesn't he look so cute? Doesn't he look so cute? I think we have to take the undies off because that's not supposed to be there. And to be honest, he's wearing a onesie anyway. So we have to take the undies off. But I'm going to leave it on for now, you know, for packing reasons. But as you can see, there's like a clear thing here. Um, because one of the displays that wore like a chicken, chicken bag. So I should have got that too, but whatever. And let's push his head inside. Just like Jimmy, he might be suffocating. Yo, he's gonna be so overheated in the suitcase like this. So cute! Okay, okay, he's kind of uh, bursting at the seams right now. The seams are bursting. So cute! His arm's not even in here, I need to put them in. Obviously the colors do not complement each other, or so I think they don't. I'm not an art student, I don't know anything about art theory. But personally, I don't think the colors go well together, but you know, Taeyong, bear for Taeyong, so he's in here. Come on in, Shuki, come on in, Shuki. His uh, golf, golf club. And he has his, his golf, golf ball. Isn't that way too huge of a golf ball? Wow, Shuki, wow, you look so good. This golf ball is going to be lost. Um, it might not even make it to Canada, to be honest, but, you know, whatever. Um, how the hell are we supposed to put this on if there's no Velcro? He's not going to fit in there. <sighs> Another day of suffocating a BT21, baby. Get in. Yo, he's going to fucking break the shirt. Why are their arms so thick? Oh, never mind. It's perfect fit. Here he is. So cute. Okay. So cute. Obviously, I'm not keeping the glasses on. I don't know. Like, it's covering everything on his face, I feel like. Because this is probably created for another character. Because it's for a mini me. Not for BT21 babies. Oh my god, it fits perfectly on him! Wow, you're beautiful. Not me talking to them as if they're alive and a dog. Anyways, how do I put this? Here he is! Wow, he's got his baseball, baseball glove. He's got his baseball jersey, number 21. New has a 9 plus 10, 21. For now, let's make it like a crossbody for his glove so, you know, it stays intact in the suitcase. Oh my gosh, he's got a baseball glove purse. So beautiful. Okay, just have a seat, have a seat. Let's move on to the last one finally. Sorry, this is taking a long time, but y'all, the haul is going to be even longer because I have a lot to show you. Okay, Cookie, it's your time to shine. And here he is. Oh my gosh, look at him, he's so beautiful in the polo shirt. This though is a little bit low for him, but there it is if you go like that, so cute. Wow. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> Let's continue with the other line front stuff that I got. Though I also got this monitor air freshener. I have no idea how it works. I just know I put it on monitor, but it's like, is it actually air freshener? Because where's the air freshener coming out from? I also got two things for my friend's birthday, because she also likes GPS. I got her this cookie keychain, ice cream koyo keychain, and these were both about like $12-ish. Since I also bought all of that, you know, as I told you, I got tax-free, and I also got 20% discount, but I also got to do a lucky draw thing, so it was like in a queue and a paper, and I got this Shuki PC holder. 
thing. And that is all I got from the wine friend store. Since we are kind of on the topic about my friend, I also got her this, again, as you remember, I went to the chocolate store and I got her this tiny time chocolate for her birthday as well. Let's get to the chronological order of the things we bought. Today, starting off, we went to Miano Station to find 17 stuff and also the Seraphim stuff and Stray Kids stuff for my sister's friends. 17 album again, FML green version. Unforgiven album, Jin version. And lastly, the Le Seraphim Weavers album. It's huge. And that's that. And then we went into the shopping district and my sister... I don't really remember the order here, everyone. When she went to this accessory store and she got three claw clips. This white one, I don't know if you can see it shine. Pink one, and she got another pink one that kind of shines too, like that white one. There it is. Yep, that's what she got. And it came in this little kitty bag. Well, and then we went to another store which sold like K pop stuff and Sarah stuff and like touristy things. And my sister got this. <laughs> Uh, a Sarah and Tom type of AliExpress Jungkook socks and Psy socks as jokes because it's kind of an inside joke with her other friend when she bought a Blackpink Jenny sock. So that is for that. She got another claw clip. Okay, a cream one. Soul magnet. As you know, she collects magnets for when she travels. Korea magnet because she wanted to distinguish between Korea and Seoul and that's all she got from that store And then after we tuned into the can the chocolate store again because my sister was still looking for birthday gifts But there are no stray his chocolates there. They did have a the icon and this is a full size not the mini size photo book magazine thing with photo cards and there were bts ones but i was like this is so heavy like this is probably gonna make uh, up charges for how heavy our suitcase is so i was like why why add on to it right and i wanted the jimin version just based off the concept photos but they didn't have jimin so i didn't buy it i do have the yoongi mini version one which has 100 photo cards with like all the members i don't think these ones have all the members but it does have a big big photo book and to be honest i should have got one <laughs> then after we went to that store where they sold the 300 dollars proof collector's edition album which i feel like when i go back to canada and i have like have a job and like i'm rich i'm gonna regret so much not buying that but whatever we went to that store and my sister got a 17 sticker set after that we were gonna head back to the hotel to drop them off but we went back to the myeongdong station to my favorite store sweetie shop love you girl even though i barely buy anything from you anymore because you don't have the things i want anymore and we found the stray kids section stray kids we went to a lot of k-pop stores and didn't buy anything because we we're like trying to search for stray kids but i feel like this like special stray kids stuff like other than albums are really hard to find i don't know like even the stray kids sections in some k-pop stores are really hard to find this is for her other friend birthday it's the maniac stray kids second world tour in seoul photo book i believe but yeah that's that so then we went on down to our hotel and we dropped everything off but then we went back because we wanted to go to the Daiso, I keep saying Daiso, uh, but we wanted to go to the 12th floor Daiso. We didn't go to all floors though because a bunch of it was like home wear stuff. Each floor was kind of like small in size, so that's why it's kind of understandable. It's 12 floors, but when I heard about it on TikTok, I thought it was going to be like the unique low, the biggest unique low I believe we went to in Japan, which was huge floors and so many floors. That's how I thought the size would be, but it was, uh, it was like kind of like half of that, but. 12 words. I got Hello Kitty Ziploc bags for like $2, Chromie Ziploc bags, $3 photo album which one side holds the photo booth photos and the other side also holds photo booth photos but they're like full size. I got this for $3, this keychain for $3 and honestly all of these are like kind of a steal, like aren't these so cheap? It's like under $5 for all of these and I got this one as well for $3. So beautiful. And my total was $13 for all this. Are we not sure? And let me show you what my sister got. The two Ziploc bags that I showed you guys that I got. Boot Strips album. She got two of these. She got five of these, which are each 50 cents. Pimple patch for $2. 30 packaging thing things. She got this piggy bank for a friend. My Melody keychain for $3. Okay, and so we were walking along Myeongdong Street because she still wanted to buy some face masks for her friends. And we saw this huge face mask set in front of the store. 
And then as you guys remember, the uh, sales associate, she kept trying to sell us a bunch of things in the store. And, you know, some of it worked, some of it, uh, uh, yeah, we were weak to it, we were weak to it. And she kept selling us things. She tried to sell us a $60 anti-aging wrinkling, wrinkling cream thing. You know, but we did not agree to that, babe. Because that is too much money. You could sell me something that's $10, but it's not something that's $60. She was like, buy this for your mom. We were like, no thanks. Anyways, let me show you what I got. These are heavy, heavy. Tan tea tree face mask. Tan bamboo face mask. You know what? At least it's Nature Republic. Like, I know her. I've used her products before, so I can trust her. Aloe face mask. And I've used this before. And as you guys know, my skincare is literally two cleansers and then face masks. So, I'm okay with this. this these are practical for me. Tan tea tree face mask. And as you guys know, I got this stick sunscreen in japan and i was meaning to buy more um in japan but i didn't get a chance to but you know this is a korean product so it was in korea and i was literally in asia probably so there it is i got it one plus one and this was 15 dollars together she also sold us this tea tree ampule i got tea tree because i know her we got these as free gifts dark box serum and here we have this is black bean straightening healthy care for weak scalp and hair Ooh, ooh, my camera died, but I was saying, let's hope it doesn't make me bald. Let's move on to my sister's stuff of what she got at Nature Republic. She basically got the same amount of face masks as me. We both got four tens, which is 40. Tea tree, cucumber, avocado, and aloe. And she also got the free gifts. And as you guys know, the sales associate pitching to us is Ampule. And she was like telling my sister, if you buy Ampule, you also need to buy this because it goes hand in hand, which is this mineral hydrating good skin cream. Yup, that is that. And then we came across Miss Olive Young. And as you know, the first time we went to Olive Young was last year. And we went to Olive Young a bunch of times throughout the last trip. And my sister, she slammed to Olive Young. She probably spent, I wanna say 500, but it might be over. This time around though, she only spent 100. Olive Young. My sister got this Vanilla Co Cleansing Balm Original. Zero Cleansing Balm Original. I have no idea, she's on TikTok, I think. Deep damage treatment hair thing. Um, which she bought last year. Vita C dark spot care thing. And if you couldn't tell by my biggest hand, this is huge. Tea tree uh, makeup wipes. She bought two of these. The very first time we bought it all of you, we bought a lot that they gave us a whole bag of free gifts. And this was one of them, I believe. And she really loved it. Another vanilla co zero thing. Cleansing balm pore clarifying. Pure cleansing oil and pure deep cleaning cleansing foam. And she also bought another Vita C dark spot care serum sheet mask sheet mask version i don't know if she bought these but i feel like these were samples um that she got i in the end did end up snatching something which is hey isn't this american brand snuggle blue sparkle plus fabric freshener but obviously they do not compare to my beloved deodorant fabric spray from Tokyo and I couldn't find her in Tokyo at all and that was from Olive Young and as you guys know after that we went to buy a suitcase we bought the suitcase at that Jungkook and Sai store and they had a $90 pink suitcase so we bought that I'm not gonna show you guys because it's on the floor right now but just so you know you guys saw it in the vlog anyways okay then we went back home put the suitcase put all of those five bags back in our hotel as you guys know we took a break we went to McDonald's the McDonald's there was a very dirty <laughs> when you enter the floor it literally smells like a sewage and there was like literally stacks and stacks of tray i think they're a bit understaffed um so it's like what could we do but girl let's break this off video anyway we went back to the station and here we have here a shirt for our mom it was really hard finding a shirt for our mom because a lot of them were like trendy clothes and my mom like for young people my mom never liked those um and my mom doesn't like crop too and especially if she wears it and raises her shirt anyways that's what she got but also as we were shopping there my sister also got this blue dress 26 dollars and this was in like three or maybe even four or five different stores in that same station like every time we walked to the next store we would see this dress again <laughs> this is the dress it has like a bit of a, a puffy sleeve see-through sleeve moment and here it is and it has like a little see-through moment down here as well and that is the dress as you guys know we dropped this off back home we took a break and then we parted our ways we parted ways because my sister went off to hang with her friends as i told you guys and i went on to do my own thing because i had in mind of buying them I, at the time i was 
still debating if I should buy them, if I should go, because, ugh, sometimes I'm just too lazy to commute there, you know what I mean? Obviously, I ended up going, but first I went to Myeongdong Station to take a look, and I bought this album, even though it was only just one song, this BTS collab with Bast Bastions, Bastions? I don't know, but it's the collab they did with them, and it's the song The Planet that they just recently released, as in Tokyo and I saw it this morning I saw it this morning while buying the 17 stuff and I was like kind of debating on it because I know like a bunch of the pictures well all of the pictures are like basically reused from proof album concept so I was like ooh but I did end up buying it so I didn't have regrets but I saw the price and I knew it was $19 so that morning I prepared $20 in my bag so I could easily take it out and just pay as I bought it right now and then at that time. And then straight after, as you guys can tell, I went to the Lion Friends store on Hongdae. It was a crowded subway. Bought a bunch of Lion Friends things. Finished. Got back on the subway to go back, but a different route so I could end up in Myeongdong Street. As you guys know, I went to the chocolate store and bought the chocolate thing. And then I ate a chicken skewer and then I went home right here. And that... Finally, everyone concludes the haul for today. So sorry, it took a long time. I'm gonna start with the packing now. I'm gonna compress a bunch of my sister's clothes that she bought with the air compression bag things. Hopefully it turns out well. Hopefully everything fits because girl, I don't know how it's gonna fit. But anyways, I'll see you guys later. Thank you so much for tuning in. But the last vlog is probably gonna be one second right after this because I don't think it'll be a standalone video because it's probably gonna be only five minutes. Like, what am I gonna vlog? Tomorrow, as you know, is our flight. Our flight is at seven o'clock, I believe. But hopefully the hotel can hold our suitcases so we can just shop around and then leave at three for the airport bus. I don't even know what the airport bus schedule is like, but I'll see you guys later. Goodbye, everyone. It's time to get packing. Good morning, everyone. It is a new day. <laughs> It is 10 a.m. This is the latest I've ever woke up and slept. We slept around 1.40ish, I want to say. Um, and I woke up at 9 a.m. Last night, we spent hours packing. And then we spent like an hour redistributing the weight from suitcase to suitcase to suitcase to carry on to carry on. So that each of our three suitcases are under the 50 pound limit where we have to pay $100 if it's over. We kept trying to move things to different suitcases so they'll be a bit under. I think all of them right now are like around 47 pounds ish. I don't know because we weighed it with some Shein, Shein scale thing. So I don't know it might be trash but the third suitcase is literally mainly my sister's stuff and the compression bags. Personally I think the air compression bags are useless because it's not really flexibility with your clothes and you can't really stuff things because it's super stiff. But anyways, that's a different story. But yeah, today hopefully the hotel can hold our luggage and then we'll go play out, play in Myeongdong a bit until 3 and then we'll take the airport bus to Incheon. I also this morning got my period and the whole trip I was like, oh my gosh, this is the first trip where I didn't have my period. Um, and then I got it today. At least it's the last day, and it's not that much of a flow, so good luck for me. I did have my whole, I did have a period this whole trip. I did have blisters and heat rash, though, so that was new. I've never had those before, and to be honest, I'd rather have my period than blisters and heat rash. <laughs> I'll see you guys later, and as, and as you guys know, my sister and I both have the aisle seat, so the other two seats in that three bro. Our strangers for both of our sides. She's on the right side and I'm on the middle. Right now though, when I checked in, it looked like nobody was sitting beside us. But we'll see. See ya. We are in a cafe right beside our hotel. Right there. Because it is raining. But at least they're holding our suitcases. And then we go. I really don't want to be wet on the airplane. Yeah. But we're going to have to be for the bus anyways. No, hopefully it's gone by then. Oh. Anyways, as we walk in, everyone, all the adults, all the old people, they just stare at you in the face. Straight in the face. They stare at you the whole time. And then you order, and as we were walking to our table, they stare at us straight in the face. You stare at them back, they don't even they don't even look away, they just keep staring. <laughs> so embarrassing. Look, they literally break in their necks turning around to stare. I told I've been telling you this the whole trip. <sighs> but it's mainly old people, isn't it? Yeah. I got a bulgogi and triple cheese, quesadilla, and my sister got pesto ham mozzarella sandwich. Wow. And my orange drink. I don't know what this is. I just called it an orange drink. Because we have big suitcases. We 
finally made it after one and a half hours. We're just checking our bags again, even though we checked up. So at least we know the Shein one works, everyone. Oh, this is way faster though. Whoa! <laughs> ow, ow. We have arrived to our gate, and now we wait. Check-in is in. It's at 3.05, and it's 2.40 right now. Wow. We have finally made it through security, y'all, and it was embarrassing. My carry-on got stopped, so they moved to the side. They're searching everywhere, searching everywhere, and they put a bunch of my stuff in the carry-on into another box thing to recheck it. And my sister is like, it's the chocolate. She's like, why did you bring chocolate? It's probably chocolate. I was like, oh my god, they're gonna throw away my $40 chocolate. And I was like, you think they'll let me take the keychain or eat the chocolate? Well, I didn't think that, but you know, anyway. But it ended up, it ended up being the Hello, the Hello Kitty plushie for the photo card holder that she hugs that you guys saw when we bought a Baskin Robbins in Gangnam because she has a magnet in it and they were like they thought the magnet was a blade and I was shook but thank god my chocolate was saved my blue bulgy ribbon mop I feel like I ate the exact same thing last time we came there and so is my sister there's no rice instead there's fries I'm doing surgery on my backpack at the end of the trip it breaks it's doing the thing where when you zip to close it, but it open on the other side because the zippers won't stick together. So it's just open on both sides of the zippers and I'm sick and tired of it. There's always going to be a problem with the Sanrio thing at the end of the trip. Oh, she got Sanrio ice cream. Which one do you want? Peach or grape? What <laughs> is that? Which ice cream? Oh, I don't care. I want peach. All right. Wow, my melody. Wow. <laughs> Hello everyone, we are finally back home. It took one and a half hours for our suitcase to come out. But last year when we went to Korea, it took two hours for it to come out. So 30 minutes better. I'm gonna eat a $5 cookie at bought the vending machine and see you guys later because I'm tired. It's time to lie down. Goodbye and see you guys. Hopefully soon for our um for our uh, recap last video summary thing i don't know what, what closing fi finale and i just want to say last time when we were flying to korea we arrived like hours after jin was in incheon and then this time around we arrived at incheon hours earlier before both jimin and taehyung arrived at incheon so not us always missing a bts member coincidentally by some a few hours and we're like in the same place anyways bye but technically I, we were in the same place as Jimin and Taehyung. We were just at the departure side, not the arrival side. <laughs>